G'day folks and welcome back and a big warm welcome to my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I'm KC and today, yeah, we've got a, uh, a build with three blind mice die cast up on the screen, link in the description below. Now this is a, um, a pig invitational, that's right, you heard it, pig invitational. Paint it green, short for paint it green, pig. So um, as you can see there, we have a, uh, a Parson Gasser up there in blue, which we are Hot Wheels, which we're going to just turn that back into an everyday street rod, lower it, paint it green, of course, wheel swaps, detailing the engine, interior, exterior, tail lights, headlamps, rego plate, and more, I've forgot, no doubt. So that's what we will do with that one there. We'll also drill it, bolt it, as well as that there. Now the 1969 old 442 HO 455 horsepower on the Sherman since it says 455 HO on the bonnet. I may be wrong, I'm not an expert on this model car. Um, it did come to me, it's a Johnny Lightning. Uh, already pulled the part, and someone messed with it, and they glued it together with super glue. And I didn't film that bit there, so I had a bit of grief there, I will show you that there as, as we get going along. What we'll do is we'll get the blue one out of the packet and uh, we'll, we'll get organised and get them to bits. Now if you want to get involved in three blind mice, you know, up on the screen, link in the description below. And you do have a channel where you build die cast or other sorts of uh, automotive building stuff there. Contact those guys there. There's a link in the description below and um, they're a cool group to build with and uh, plus there's many more. Alright, this one here, we uh, got him out of the packet. Now I've also drilled him and bolted him up all underneath of course. So um, we will pull that apart just one moment there and we'll just shift the trailer over here. And I'll show you what happened when they glued it. If you see all of that fogging up there on the back bumper bar where they glued it, it um, it's all smoky. Let's see if we can get that together to look a little bit better. Yeah, you can see that's look that's white with a number plate is that should be actually chrome. That's because they glued it together. We finally did be able to drill it and get it apart, uh, bolted back together. Plus we've got to fix the bonnet, the bonnet becomes very quite loose. It sits up nicely and everything, and it just falls down and makes a lot of me. And then um, what it does is it also comes forward really loose and forward, so we'll fix that up as well. Alright, let's get them organised and get them pulled to bits. Righto, job done, they're all pulled to bits. Now the green one, we're also going to keep that as an every, everyday driver, like that. Because I do see a lot of old unrestored cars like that still driving around today. With you know, bits of the shots missing and all that sort of stuff there. What we are going to do is we are, we're going to put a, um, a, a nice set of wheels onto this here. Which will match in with the green and the gold. But we're, we're going to leave it with the plaid with condition. Because that's got its own little story at the end of the day. Uh, these wheels here are going to go onto the blue one which will turn into a green one. We'll also paint those rims black and uh, we'll have a uh, low profile on the front and a higher profile on the back. We'll also do what we said we're going to do to the cage, the engine and all that sort of stuff and everything else there. Alright, so what we'll do is, um, and this says where the damage is on the corner. See a big chunk taken out of it there, so I'll fix it up with a blade and a hot blade and try and fix it a little bit more and then I'll touch the chrome up and touch. You should notice it and then I'll redo the bumper on this and won't do the rest of the chrome because it's not too bad. I don't like putting that everywhere that molotov pin. And that's all glued together on the back here because you haven't played with it and put that much glue on it that glued onto that and I can't pull it apart without breaking it. Never mind. Right and we'll do something with the steering wheel and the gear knob and them sorts of things. Right let's keep moving along. Alright, ready to put the poly strip on. Just get him on there. The reason why I do the inside first is that plenty on the inside to do the outside. That's how I work, right? Over there. Over there. Pick him up. Shouldn't be picking him up with bare hands. Notice that. Shouldn't be doing that. Bad example. But, but. Yeah. That's pretty quick this stuff. That's a good thing. That's really. Put him on there. Let that sit for a little bit. It's flying off now. It's all easy peasy. It's come off the outside like that and come off the inside like that. I'm going to give it a rub and a rub, rub, rub in the cup. There we go. Here's a good result. All done clean. So uh, 
all come out pretty well. So uh, we'll get organised against Steel Wall Primer. I'm getting painted green. Alright. Alrighty-o. We're in Primer. So there we go. We're moving along. So we cleaned him all up and did all the uh, marks on the body and everything else there. And we've got it in Primer. So uh, we'll, and we also swap on the wheels. Uh, using those five star wheels to the right of the screen that you see there. So yeah. Alright. Keep cracking along and let's get it uh, into green. Voila. Bingo. There we go. Alright, she's all in green, all ready to go. So I've just got to do the chrome around the headlights. I'm actually going to do those with a pen and I'm actually going to do the uh, two little tail lights in the back there and then highlight that up there and then we'll uh, get organised and we'll get them all fitted up. And we're probably going to put some Clay Smith decals on the side. Also, we'll We'll see that when we get up to the bolts to get apart. Right, Theo, yeah, we've got them all ready to assemble and put back together. And then we've got the decals um, all nicely done down the sides and the headlights. And uh, one will plate on the back and the tail lights and the parachute bag. And we've uh, done the wheel swap, cut the base up, lowered it to the maximum we could lower, um, plus we chopped all the guards out on the inside uh, this one here, and uh, then we were just going to put the number of plates on this one, but we'll do that once we put it all together, we've just made this look like a uh, bath, barn fine, it's just been washed for the first time, we'll show you up closely the bits and pieces um, that we added to the rust areas and that sort of stuff. Righto, so coming up after this will be a recap of what we started with and uh, and then we'll have them all together. Just a recap of what we started with. Uh, Parson Gasser Hot Wheels out of the packet. As you've seen what we did to it in the video there. And the 1969 Olds 442. We uh, just made that as we did. And uh, repaired the bits and pieces and kept it as a bit of a everyday driver. And uh, this is a invitational with the uh, three blind mice. So be sure to go and check out their channel and everyone else that joined in on this build. And uh, coming right up after this, uh, we'll have a look at these little machines here now that we have finished messing around with them. There we go. Both done. As I was saying to you there, the Owls 442, we were... Um, making that as a uh, daily driver like a barn find so wherever you see the brown that we're there when we do stop the spinning around we'll show you and um and also there's the hot rod now we've converted it from that there to like a street driven rod um turned out pretty sweet i'm happy with how both of them turned out um yeah so please be sure to go and check out all the other builders worldwide <laughs> build from anywhere in the world today now which is a cool thing between us all and uh, we've got more coming too. We've got a Porsche giveaway happening now too. So the video there where you see the Porsche giveaway, go and check that out if you haven't already. Plus we also got a 750 sub video coming away. We've got giveaways as well. We've got a couple of minis that we're going to build. You see that one up on the trailer there. We're the same model and that in the sedan. We've got a couple of those coming. And uh, you're probably asking why is the BMW there and the Tootie toy? Well, the BMW there and the Tootie toy is for a build for Opa. Most of you in the diecast community know Opa. He's a cool guy. He's not doing too good at the minute there, so um, I won't worry about speaking about his health too much. But <clears throat> a lot of us um, in the community there, and we'd love you all to join us on the 20th of April uh, to build like a, any German built car um, or a Tootie toy or whatever. So I've got it. Uh, BMW there that I'm going to jazz up and also the little Tootsie toy that I've been meaning to uh, have a build with Opa uh, quite some time ago. Alrighty, so right, let's spin this around and just have a quick look at it. Quick look at them up close. Oh yo, we're not spinning around. There we go. So I think it turned out um, pretty sweet just as a daily driver. Just go back here so I can get a bit better focus on it there. Um, pretty happy with the way the headlights came up. And uh, we did all the cage inside chrome, as you can see. Plus, we done the seat belt, seat buckle. And uh, there we go. There she is. There, sitting there, all like that there. Decals on the side, of course. Yeah. 
Turn it into a street room. It sits beautiful and low on its own. So we get rid of the chocks. So you can actually see the actual sitting stance of it. There we go. Yeah, so um, that's that one there. And then we get the old here. Get rid of the ramps. And uh, wherever you see the bits of brown there, that were where they were. That's where it was stone chipped and faded around. It's been fairly well played with, but it polished up all right. Um, and like I was saying to you, that you get the stone chips around the corner there with my, the rust look down on the side there. And bits and pieces and all that sort of stuff there, yeah. But just like being pulled out of shed, been getting around to restore it, and we're done up so we can roll it. Put a couple of um, number plates on the little beast. And we left the bump bars the way they are because the wife was saying to me, well, it just adds to the street driven, well worn, well played with Beastie. All right, there you go, folks, all right. Well, there we go. I hope you both like them. That's with the three blind mice. Thanks, for guys, for the invitation with you guys again once again. Don't forget to go and check out all the other builders. And uh, also, uh, Opa, uh, prayers, and we're thinking of you, mate. I hope all goes really well. We all do. All right. Until then, take care, stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you again on the next one. Bye for now.